Hey, 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 here we go back again with another match day re review and what a game of football from the Sunderland Football Club. What a performance from the lads. Absolutely superb comeback against all odds as Phil Collins once said against all odds came back Danny Bath out for the rest of the season makeshift defence but we did the business against the dirty and I would say diving and I would say cheating West Bromwich Albion yes I'm going to give them those sublimities for the simple reason that they hacked Sunderland tried to hack Sunderland off the park and also you know that wasn't a penalty in the first half it was a goddamn dive from their play but well done Sunderland taking three points at the Hawthorns a 2-1 win I did predict the 2-1 win did you but anyway let's get into the match review Team news today, as you already know this week, Danny Bart is out for the rest of the season, so it was a makeshift defence. We went 3-4-3. Three, three. Hume, <coughs> oh, 9 and Dennis Serkin. Yes, before we get started, man of the match, Dennis Serkin, and you know why, you know the reasons why. Superb brace, the guy's on fire. He's absolutely on fire, this young lad. One of the standout players of the season. One of the first names on the team sheet at the start of the day. But three at the back, Luke one nine, I said, Luke one nine in the middle, circling left, Trey Young, right? Then there was a four, Gooch Clark, either side of Equa, who starts Dan Neal. And in front, Barr comes in <clears throat> with a Madden Gelhart. Before we get started, I want to say a good, a well done Gelhart, or Gelhart today played a good game of football, did really well. Under extreme circumstances, the amount of times West Bromwich Albion hacked down Gelhart when he got the ball was disgusting. It was disgraceful from the baggies. Three yellow cards just for hacking down Gelhart, I thought. Now, for Gelhart to stay on the game that long, taking that amount of punishment, for me, it says a lot to Gelhart. So, well done, Gelhart. First half, Sunderland started slowly, first five, ten minutes, and give West Brom the due, the credit. They were the better side in the first ten minutes, but then Sunderland started to find the feet, started to show how good they are at passing the ball, controlling the ball, keeping the, keeping the ball close to the feet, passing, moving, wiggling around West Brom players, and they did not know how to, how to play against Sunderland apart from hacking us down left, right. That's all they wanted to do, was take Sunderland players out and every opportunity and the referee started to hand out you know yellow cards like it was a postman putting letters to a letterbox well we had good chances Gelhard chance saved blocked or whatever it was then we had other chances as well and mad uh, we, we, we didn't know we had a lot of play a lot of possession and we created a lot of opportunities we didn't really sort of fulfill them and then the goals and what a sucker punch one minute in the, in the stoppage time. One minute, one minute of the first half left. We lose the ball. Serkin, the only mistake he made the whole of the game, lost the ball, <clears throat> fell to West Brom inside the box. Bill going nine, goes for the ball. He misses the ball, misses the player. Then the player falls over Luke going nine and the referee is a mile behind the player mind. He's nowhere near to give that kind of decision falls for the dive of the West Brom player. West Brom player, you know, if he was in a, if he was in a diving team, an Olympic, Olympic sized swimming pool, he would have got three tens or four tens or five tens or whatever it was. It was a brilliant dive from the West Bromwich player. His acting skills were tremendous. He should have been in the, the royal art of acting down in London somewhere. You know, it could, it could be playing, it could be playing, Someone that got shot in a scene, in a, in a western. He was like, Ugh! And he went down like a bag of shit. And he, he got the insane going, get in when he got the penalty. The absolute cheat. I'm sorry, I hate cheating players who dive around. Another one of their players, it was, who was it? The big lad in defence. I think one of our players jumped up and brushed against his side. And yet he held his face and rolled around the ground. Ten seconds after he got touched. Disgusting. Why do you want to cheat? Why do you want to cheat like that? Anyway, West Brom scored the penalty 1-0 and I felt I was distraught. 
I felt awful at half time, even though I knew the lads would give a brilliant performance, a fantastic performance. They were the better side, class against rags today for me. Second half comes out and <clears throat> we, 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 we really go for it, we do, we go for it. And it, it was superb, it was superb from Gooch on the right hand side. The Gooch gets the ball right hand side and he's wiggling around amongst two or three players and the ball sort of comes in between two defenders and I don't know how he does a gooch, I have no clue. But he whips the ball through two defenders and Dennis Serkins is standing there in the middle of the penalty box. And he just gets his head back and gets it, places the ball in the top right hand side, Dennis Serkin. And that was absolutely amazing goal. Keep a no chance. And the players went absolutely mental. And that was what we deserved, second half. We deserved that equaliser. It was a superb equaliser. Dennis Serkin, like I said, then... It was a bit, West Brom was one to peach, and it was a, like a real good cup game, it was, it was a good, it was a good advertisement for football. Both teams going for the victory, both teams, a draw today for me wouldn't have been good enough. You know, if we got a draw today, we would have been two points off the playoffs, but West Brom and Blackburn would have had a game in hand, so a draw wasn't good enough, we needed that win today. And West Brom were going for the win as well, they went, had one or two, there was a time when, I think it was like pinball and Sun's penalty box, four, five or six chances and our our players, the Sunderland's players, the Sunderland's defenders, everyone stood up to them and we were diving, putting bodies in front of the ball, blocking everything with our heart and soul. It was amazing to see that kind of commitment from the Sunderland players. But we did get that change. We made the substitutions. Bar went off for of Roberts. Pritchard came on and Equa. Equa, again, good game of football, Equa. Early doors of the game, one of two touches went, went astray, but he, he grew into the game. And Ekwa could be a good, a good player for next season. He really could. He could play that, really fit in that mid, midfield role. But Pritchard came on. So, oh, Mishu came on as well. Yeah, so Pritchard came on after Mishu, because Mishu came on, and it was Bar who went off for Roberts. Mishu came on for Ekwa, and Pritchard came on. And I think it was who went off for Pritchard again. Oh, I can't remember. Just lost my train of thought. Gelhardt, Gelhardt went up to Pritchard. And then here comes the goal. The goal was absolutely amazing. It starts off, I think Serkin has the ball on the left-hand side. He moves the ball forward. He gives it to, to Mishute, Mishute to Serkin, to Pritchard, Pritchard. It was just, it was, it was just, if that was a Premier League goal, that would have been one of the goals of the season. It would have been an amazing goal. But it falls back to Serkin. Serkin set up a defender in the penalty box again. Highest man forward. He scored four goals. In the last so many games, one against Millwall, one the other day, I forget who it was against, it was a winning goal when he got the free kick, touched it in, we won that one as well. And two goals today, a brace, Dennis Serkin places the ball in the corner and West Brom are absolutely distraught, devastated. But Tony Mowbray and the side are absolutely jubilant. And we have five minutes to hang on. And we do, we hang on for the victory. An absolute amazing victory today against one of the informed teams in West Bromwich Albion. We move into sixth place, sixth place in the table. Blackburn do have a game in hand over Sunderland and so does West Brom, but we got the points in the bag and it goes down to the last two games whether we can make the playoffs. And yes, we can, we can make the playoffs. Surely we can make the playoffs. We've got to make the playoffs, we really do. It'll be, it'll be absolutely against all the odds, like I said, against all the odds in the world if we make the playoffs with this. You know, we've got loads of players out. Let's get them. We've got Bart out, Ballard out, Alessi out. There's the heart of the defence. We've got the likes of Evans out. We've got Stewart out, midfield, attack. We've got players out left, right and centre. You know, we just, we've got, we've got Embleton who was out as well. And we've got other players. So we are really are playing the team today was superb. That today was one of the best performances I've seen a Sunderland side. We give everything, heart and soul. Every player stood up to the challenge. I kind of look back on that game and think there was any player that didn't put in a good shift, any player that didn't work the socks off. Every player worked their socks off today and we're in sixth place. We deserve to be there. West Brom, good luck to the rest of the season. Great set of fans. Unfortunately, some of your players are cheaters and some of your players are dirty. But end of the day, 
when you play against a talented side and a skillful side like Sunderland, you're going to be a bit slow to challenges. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed the review. Sunderland, it, it's Sirkin's day. I'm going to give Sirkin man of the match. Tony Mowbray, what can I say? You know, we're 1-0 down. We were 1-0 down at half time and we turned it around. Performance. That was one of the best performances I've seen Sunderland this season. In fact, I'm going to give that as the best performance by a Sunderland side this season. We save in the best to last. We rise into the challenge. We're really going for it. We haven't lost in about seven games. So we, we are that team. We are that team in the ascendancy. We are that team that's going for it. We've got two games to go. Massive one against Watford at home. Massive one away at Preston. And we're really in there. Honest to God, against what I thought was all done. But well done, the lads. Thank you for watching. Take care. God bless. Please subscribe to the channel. I am absolutely over the moon. Thank you for watching the live stream today. Like I said, I do have a membership scheme going as well, I think on the channel somewhere, where you can purchase, be a member, you get, you get stickers and all this, eventually when I get it going. So it might take a few days to get sorted out. Thank you, take care, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my Sunday. I'm next Sunday, chicken, Sunday lunch. Enjoy the rest of the day, enjoy your weekend. Sunny Sunderland are doing the business. We're in sixth place, baby. We're in sixth place.